Hello, Miss Freebie Crafty here. I started doing something new and I wanted to show you guys doing the draw this in your style kind of challenge and I decided to start with this uh, blue haired girl with a ladybug on her nose. I thought it was absolutely adorable. Um, there's, it's probably going to look a little rough uh, because I was trying to draw this in the living room and hang out with my significant other at the time but still wanted to produce a video at the same time. Um, as I was drawing this, I did realize I kind of messed up a little bit with the back part of her hair. I do fix that later. I also wanted to challenge myself by using Sharpies and seeing how I can maneuver with what I have. So I started out, you know, with the usual sketching and stuff and trying to figure out how I'm going to use the colors that already pre-exist for the actual drawing and then uh, somehow add what I have with Sharpies. Now I know not all these colors are going to be a hundred percent so they kind of look a little rough. Keep in mind that it's not going to be exact but since I wanted to try a different take on it it's a good experiment and also one of these drawings in here I was pretty excited on how it turned out surprised that it actually looks pretty amazing but we'll get to that one in a minute I enjoyed one of the things I really enjoy about drawing is the hair uh, trying to find a way to add more shines more details to uh, make it more pop and I just I'm trying to figure out how to do it with Sharpie it's a little you could have a little bit different take on it because of the the roughness of it but I think it turned out pretty all right I didn't have some of the colors I wanted to do I wanted to do a three layer blue but I only had like a limited choice palette but I might end up buying some more Sharpies in the future and seeing how well I could do it. Some of these drawings that I have done, I'm going to probably try to redo it in another medium later on and seeing how they look uh, that way. Anyway, take a breath. <laughs> I really did enjoy doing these. For the past four days actually it took me to do all three of these pictures I did have to take a break one of the days and just play some video games for a moment so uh, there's not much to talk about oh well one of the things I could add is that it's hard to do with Sharpie is because you don't have much skin color options so I had to try to think of a substitute on how to go about um, adding the skin. I just decided just to do shadows and it seemed to work out fine in my opinion. I was okay with just the pink for the first one, you know, as the shadows. And then at one point I realized I forgot to draw in her polka dots. <laughs> So you, that's why there's some sketches right here, but uh, this is my first time trying to do a voiceover, so sorry if I keep taking breaths, it is a bit exhausting, but hopefully the more I do this, the more I talk and get used to actually talking over, it will probably, I can go longer and not have to breathe as much, <laughs> but it's always a slow start starting out right making these videos fun and interesting but I enjoyed doing uh, everything that I could about this I'm trying to think if there's anything else to talk about about this piece I guess I'll just let you guys go ahead and watch this for right now and I will pick up on the next one
this next one here I thought was pretty interesting, but I didn't want to leave the pencil markings on there, so I decided to do a different kind of format. One of the things I absolutely got obsessed over in Inktober is doing those hatching lines. So I tried to adapt that a little bit into this one, this picture, sort of change it up a little bit because I know there's no rules to do it exactly like the pose. It is in your style as long as it resembles the picture itself in the end. So I figured I'd go ahead and do that um, and use the hatching lines to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, also, it looks a little more cartoony. I mean, I, that is a bit more my style. I'm not much for realism, so I kind of enjoy more anime, cartoon stuff. But, um, I don't like how I did the hair on this one. I thought the hair kind of was, like, a little bit stick out to the side, but I... But I kind of, like, over-exaggerated it a little bit more in my picture. And I noticed that I missed an ear on one of them, but we could just imagine that her, um, their head is a little bit more tilted one way, and <laughs> maybe it won't be that much of a problem. I do actually like how this one turned out. It's um, one of my favorite ones, despite the hair issue. I kind of like how what I ended up doing with the Sharpie and trying to adapt the colors that they had in the original piece of the artwork but using sharpies instead and I was just like experimenting and drawing every which way and figuring which works which sticks you know and yeah I thought it turned out pretty good I might have used a little bit too much yellow in one part of the hair I just wanted to try to separate it somehow in the middle, but I feel like I could have probably went a little bit further with the blue and probably added some more dark blue or something. But I actually want to try this method again in a future drawing. Um, probably in my own time, I'll probably try to think of what other kind of uh, picture I could draw with this style. I kind of really liked how the Sharpies turned out. Um, also, I've never been very good with hands. I mean, who really is these days? We all have those struggles. But I have a certain kind of style because I want to be different. So I kind of have a little bit more angular or so, how, however you say it. I know my hands are not even close to what is usually portrayed to being the original style of hands. But I'm trying to develop my own hands so yeah it's different uh, I'm still not quite where I want it to be but I also don't really want it to be as some of that I've seen I don't know if that really makes sense but <laughs> hopefully one of these days I'll be able to adapt the hands that I want and show what I really mean but Anyway, in the meantime, uh, when I was drawing this, I noticed that in the corner part of the picture, they, the artist put their name on there. I wasn't sure if I should put my name on this one. Yes, it's my art drawing, but it's not the character. The character does not belong to me, so I was just like, I don't know if I could really put my name up there in the picture like um, they did. So I just went ahead and just did a scribble-like indication that there's a name there, but... Yes, the drawing's mine, but not the character. And hopefully it turned out pretty good. I don't know what kind of uh, medium you would call this. I mean, besides the fact that you're drawing this with Sharpies. I mean, like, I feel like there's a certain kind of uh, name for what I was doing. Maybe it's sort of like hatching, I guess. But then a little bit of stippling. Like, absent colors or something. Gosh, I cannot think of it. I've heard something like this in my art class but it's just not coming to me um i feel like i could have done a little bit better with the cross hatching i like the hatching part but uh not so much the cross hatching and the highlights i think turned out pretty good yeah what else
I think the eyes look pretty good with the way that's slick out. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think I'm at lost of words again. <laughs> I could have done better with the eye color on the inside. Maybe I could have added a little bit of green in there. I do think that I made the center part of the nose a little bit too dark. I got a little carried away with the brown at some point. Also, every now and again, it was very awkward for me to hold the camera while at the same time drawing. So every now and again, you might get a glimpse of what I'm watching currently. I'll see if anyone can guess it. <laughs> but um, if you really want to know, I'll let you know. I tried my best not to get too much of the background but it, sometimes like especially in the last one I decided to make it a smaller drawing so it, my hand was a little more crooked on trying to hold down the paper I think it was a little bit easier with this one to hold it down because it was a larger piece and the side-by-side -side comparison and then next drawing I actually really love the artist's take on this but Personally, my version of it is actually my least favorite out of the three. I don't think I did the drawing justice. I actually would like to redraw this one and try a different medium. Maybe it's just the Sharpies that didn't have a good color. I also feel like I did not a very great job on the face. She kind of looks older. I think it's because I added a little bit of the wrinkle under the eye, but I always like to try to add indents to make the face seem more alive, but I am not very good at capturing it yet. Also, um, not a big fan of the lips that I did. I tried, uh, doing what I could to save it. I changed it. Uh, I kept erasing and changing it. Maybe even the face shape I was thinking that would probably help bring it together, but something was still nagging at me. I did not like how I drew it. I think this is the first time I've drawn a pose like this, you know, showing a little bit of the back, a little bit of the front, and the shoulder popped out to the side. I did think that was kind of interesting. I know I did the bun a little bit different on top of her head. I just, um, wanted to just throw it that way. <laughs> And I think this is, again, another problem with the skin color. I wasn't sure what to do with the Sharpies. And I took a pink and orange and tried to see if I could balance it that way. But in the end, you could hardly even see the pink. But maybe you can imagine that she's like more in the sunlight with the orange. It was kind of uh, interesting. Also, I made a mistake in the middle part of her head. I tried to correct it. Uh, the, I figured, why not an experiment? I used white out on it, and I don't know if it's very noticeable at the final piece or not. I like one of the greens that I used. I really should not have piled on the darker green on it because I feel like it kind of took away the fade effect that I was trying to capture. But trying to use Sharpies and somehow cross the orange and the green it just was not looking good and so I was thinking oh if I add the dark green it might make it look less obvious less chunky but uh, I just it didn't work for me this is one that I would probably like to try in another medium I really would like to see what it would look like in maybe watercolor maybe even try just regular paints Maybe I could even try my alcohol-based markers. But it was really interesting to see what I could get out of uh, Sharpies. That was a nice experiment, and I feel like I have picked up quite a bit of uh, interesting techniques that I really enjoyed adding into the drawings that I did. And overall, I mean, I, 
I feel like I did a decent job. I'd probably give myself a C. <laughs> uh, but hopefully you guys like it. Um, I do think once I add the highlights to her hair, it did kind of take away the chunkiness. Also, I whenever I was trying to base it off of memory when I did her outfit and I realized I made the stripes a little bit too big but at least I started with the lightest color first so it was easier to color on back on top of it which you guys uh, will see how I uh, saved that thank goodness that it wasn't too difficult to cover that up when I noticed it and I'm like oh shoot I better make these smaller <laughs> And fixed it right up and also since I felt the background was a little more bland I tried to outline it with a color but I was like thinking to myself well I don't want to outline it with green because then the green would be touching and then don't want to outline it with orange because then the orange would be touching I don't know if anyone else is like this OCD kind of moment but I feel like the color I did pick is a good combination for the colors that did exist and turned out decent enough as an outline but anyway thank you guys for watching and I'll let you guys go ahead and finish uh, seeing the drawing process if there's any final comments I want to add I'll add them to the end you guys have a wonderful day if I don't speak to you again <laughs>